Hey everyone, EJ and Ryan here for the weekly fishing report. Before we jump into the fishing report, I just want a quick reminder here um, on the NPLB raffle. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we did a video on this and would love to have you guys come in and check that out. Um, all kinds of great prizes here for um, NPLB to support the NPLB folks. Um, like the two night thermal hog hunt, yeah. <laughs> which is all of our that favorite. That sounds awesome. Everybody's hoping that they win that yeah. one. Um, so let's get into the fishing report. Ryan, what do you got up in the, the rivers there? Yeah, so um, fishing in the MAGA theme, we got pickerel and yellow perch, your classic patterns this year. Um, and that's going to be pretty much universal for the mid bay rivers. Yep. Um, I'm not going to even name them all. There's too many to name, but yeah. pickerel fishing, um, this time of year, fishing jerk baits. So I got this Rapala ripstop deep here. This is going to be a great bait to fish for pickerel because you're going to be able to really work it super, super slowly um, for those lethargic wintertime fish. Pickerel are definitely, just like the rest of the fish, will slow down. So that's a great lure to start out with. Um, the yellow perch, you can use shad darts or um, little bull minnows. Um, yep. That's a great, great idea yep. on, uh, on a little shad dart. So um, I know other than that, we have rockfish. Yeah, so rockfish patterns have, have definitely changed. Um, they're looking yeah. for deeper, warmer water, right? Yeah, definitely. So you're gonna wanna target them in that 30 feet and deeper. Mm -hmm. um, you can get them the classic way of trolling. Yeah. If, you're, if you're marking them and they're suspended, um, you can definitely try and jig them up. Um, one thing I wanna show you, if you're gonna be trolling, um, standard umbrella rigs, you're gonna use, again, those, that six inch profile there. Um, but in order to get down deeper, I want to go over these super easy to use double snap swivels. These things are great. And this is what they look like. And the way that this works is one end of the snap swivel goes towards your line on yep. your trolling reel. Yep. And the other end will snap onto your inline sinker. So this is what it looks like. So you've got your line, your this one actually will go here to yeah, the Yeah, so umbrella. your line will, will attach to the other side of the wing. Exactly, yep. exactly. If I said that wrong, I apologize. But this is, this is what it would look like at the end. So this goes on here, boom. And then this goes on to your line. Yeah, exactly. And this will bring it down, and it will not impact whether the fish will strike or not at yeah. all. Yeah, but it's no, just, they're it, looking at these baits back here. Thousand percent, and it just saves you the hassle of trying to tie a leader on. Yeah. Then exactly. when you reel the fish up, you're literally reeling it all the way up to so where you yeah, can exactly. Get it. So yep. yeah, definitely try those out, guys. If you've never used them, I've used them. They're they're excellent. Yeah. And speaking of deep water fish, uh, I know I talked about yellow perch in the shallows and the rivers, but white perch yeah. are actually going to move deeper. Yeah. And if you're fortunate enough to find them this time of year. Oh my gosh, you can tear them yeah, up. And, and they're big ones. For, for sure. So where, where we got here? So definitely want to give these a try. These are the larger sabiki rigs that we make in-house here. Um, tip them with a little bit of blood worm. Not much, yep. just a tiny little bit. And if you get over top of these guys, they're yep. going hard bottom, 30 feet, just like kind of like the rockfish. Yep. Um, you can just have a field day. Yeah, out there. absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And then... Um, Speaking of even more bottom fishing, uh, down in Ocean City, we have a really good sea bass bite. Yes. Um, I know they're catching some flounder and tog also, but the sea bass is really where it's at. So I got two rigs here that you guys can use for that. Um, I got the headboat rig and the sea bass slash porgy rig. We got two different hook sizes here. I believe it's a 4.0 and a 7.0. Tip these with squid or sea clam. And most of these guys out here are using eight to 16 ounce weights, putting them on the bottom and getting on those wrecks for some sea bass. Nice. And that's a lot of fun. Nice, yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of great stuff yeah, about absolutely. the sea bass. They're still catching rockfish off the Route 50 bridges, but they're a little yeah. bit on the smaller size. You yep. gotta weed through them, but you still can get yeah. some that are over that 28 inch. Yeah, that 28 to 31. Way. Yeah, yep. Yeah, so that is open year round down in Ocean City, but I know around here, Yes. What's that date? December 10th? It's this Sunday, guys. Yep. That's that's it. So once once we hit Sunday, no more keeping rockfish. You can go to catch and release yeah. after that. Yep. So yep. keep that in mind. I Absolutely. think that's about it. Anything else? Nope. I think no. that's it. Have a All good right. one, guys. Take care, guys.